OK, we're going to look at some of the input options which are available to us on the KD7. So to get into the settings, we just press the screen anywhere on the uh, display surface and we go for the toolbox icon. Uh, we have a security section here, which uh, at the moment I don't have a password set in, so I can get straight into the settings and I want to change the current configuration. And we're going to go for the inputs. We want to have a look at the various options of the inputs. Um, input 1 uh, we've got stated here as an analog input. You can choose uh, either analog inputs or um, logic inputs such as contact closures or you can have um, data inputs such as Modbus and we can scroll up and down the various inputs using the up and down buttons here um, and you can have up to 24 analog inputs and um, 32 Modbus inputs on the uh, on the input uh, menu here. So let's go back to analog input 1 and we'll just have a quick look and see how we can configure this and what options are available to us. So with analog input 1 if we press the configure button we can see at the moment it's uh, set as a current input with a minus 20 to uh, plus 20 milliamp range. If we just press on um, any of the active parts of the window we can go uh, down a, an option menu and choose any of the available um, sensors and most industrial sensors are catered for here so we've got the uh, the common voltage and current inputs such as 0 to 10 volts 4 to 20 milliamps and so on uh, all the current um, common thermocouples PT100s PT1000s and so on so a good choice of uh, input types so I'm going to stick with current so I'll select that and we can choose the current range that we're going to operate over so I can type in here, for example, if I wanted it as 4 to 20, I could just do, there we go, now we've got an input of 4 to 20 and I can accept that. I can also, if I've got a number of uh, 4 to 20 current inputs, I can copy any settings that I've made to other inputs, such as input 1, input 2, input 3 and so on, so that I don't have to go through this stage each time. Anyway, once I'm happy with this, I press enter and I can now give that analog input uh, channel a name and at the moment I've called it talk but if I want to change that for example to uh, let's say humidity what I can do just press that and we've got a, a, an alpha numeric keyboard here so we can choose the alphabet characters numeric characters or special characters and if I want humidity what I can do is just delete the existing uh, text and type in humidity and I can go uppercase, I can change to lowercase as well, so I go humidity okay and then we just uh, press enter and now this is our name for analog input 1. I can then give it a description as well uh, for data logging purposes that can also say humidity or I can put anything that I want um, and I can change the output range um, so I can make this for example 0 to 100 and I can call this percent humidity um, so what I'll do is choose the custom input code for that and using my special characters on the keyboard here I can choose percent let's just get rid of the milliamps at the moment percentage and then I can call that RH for relative humidity and enter. There we go, now we've got our units, so it's 4 to 20 in is 0 to 100 uh, relative humidity percentage and I can say OK. So very simple, very nice easy system to set your inputs and again if I had multiple channels of this type of setting I can copy these settings to all the other channels so it reduces the amount of work that we need to do. So I'll accept that if we just go back and look at the uh, the inputs visually I can assign for each of my different um, input channels I can assign different colors so we can uh, identify them easily on the screen so you choose any of the available colors um, so for example this one I might want to go uh, have this one as the orange color so we can select that there we go And now analog input 1, we can save this configuration. And when 
when we look at input 1 now we've got humidity percentage humidity there um, I haven't got a 4 to 20 input at the moment so uh, this is the reason why we don't have uh, a valid uh, signal showing here but you can see it's uh, taken on the orange color as well and then I can do this setting to suit my uh, signals for all the other channels as well very nice and easy